Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I'm going to be featuring the Brandenburg, the tier 7 premium German battleship that was released a couple of updates ago. Now, this battleship is definitely the best secondary battleship in the game, which is kind of odd considering that it's a tier 7 and the legendary tier battleship, the Grosser Kurfürst, doesn't quite have the same secondary capability that the Brandenburg has with a full secondary build, you're actually able to get that out to 12 kilometers, which I have here. And the GK is only able to get it out to 11.1 kilometers, which is a bit underwhelming for a legendary tier battleship, but that can just be its own video for the future. As I'm recording this, we're a couple of days away from the June update where we are going to get a bunch of the balance changes that they announced a couple months ago um, including concealment mod for battleships and when that comes out I have a feeling this ship among many others that utilize secondary builds and brawling will get significantly better and even if it's not a, a secondary build battleship I'm still probably going to be switching over to concealment mod pretty much for every single one of my battleships the detectability that you buff, essentially giving you less surface detectability, will help with all engagements and honestly give you the opportunity to disengage when usually you don't have the option. But that is definitely something that I am looking forward to among some of the others like SAP for some of those Italian cruisers. and. The full release of the Pan-European Destroyer Line, the Oster Jutland, is going to be a great ship. And for its place now, it might honestly, honestly be one of my favorites to play. We will see. But going on to this video, we can see that all of their battleships have pretty much pushed into the B-cap. Which is honestly going to be a pretty spicy brawling experience for me. There are a couple of destroyers on this flank and I am somewhat salivating at the opportunity that is before me going with this ship against those five battleships in such close proximity with my torpedoes and all. So I am going to do my best to actually try and get away from these destroyers. Here the Akizuki is kind of in a very bad spot. He is at four kilometers next to my full secondary build Brandenburg and he gets absolutely wrecked by not just my secondaries but also with my teammates as well. I accidentally beach but it seems to work out since the Akizuki completely misses his torps from that. The Kageros torps get spotted by our carrier instantly so I know I have more than enough time to actually dodge those torpedoes since there's it's been spotted from so far away. And now I am trying to make my way to Bravo where all of these battleships are. There is a fail division on the enemy team with an with, of a Gneisenau and an Ismail. And it seems like this Ismail has actually disconnected. So I am just gonna go out there since this is actually more of a four versus one. And considering that they are all Kind of in between my entire team i figure i won't be the only thing getting shot at and i actually have a chance to get at all of them and do a massive amount of damage three bismarcks and a Gneisenau have pushed into the bravo cap and i'm honestly not sure what was happening in this game this was kind of like a unicorn something that is a mythical thing to see of how poorly the enemy team played and then allowing you to do so well. I do shoot at the Ismail but I don't get citadels. I'm not sure if my shell just missed or for whatever reason there wasn't enough penetration. I'm thinking since it's German the shells just missed but I am trying to basically try to kill off this Ismail just in case he comes back and I am pretty sure that that Gneisen now, since he missed his torpedoes, will basically not have a chance to actually kill me off. 
the speed of the Brandenburg is pretty fast, especially since at this point I'm out running the Bismarck's turrets. There are Kagero torpedoes coming from behind the Bismarck, but he does eat one of the torpedoes and protects me from it. And the second set of the Kagero torps show up and they also miss. Unfortunately, there was a carrier in this match who was also harassing me. I think if that carrier hadn't dropped me and hit me for about 10k, I might have actually survived this. But I was able to go out in this 1 versus 5 and cause 4 of them to die, whether it was by me or by my teammates. The distraction and the amount of damage that I did by just going out there was pretty insane, especially for the short amount of time. When I first got around that corner and shot at the Ismail, I was only at 16,000 damage, and now I am just under 200,000. So, in that short amount of time, I was able to do 180,000, give or take, which was a pretty insane amount. This game is definitely going to be a win. They have 10 tickets, so as soon as one ship dies, the game will be over. And skipping to the end of the battle, since they were pretty much just chasing a destroyer around on a carrier. This game was... Probably one of my favorite games that I have played in a very long time, simply by the amount of chaos that ensued. Um, 197,000 damage, 3k base XP at the top in that such short amount of time. The Brandenburg is definitely one of my favorite ships to play, simply because of how fun it is to play. You can see in in port that I don't actually have the third mod slot because I was actually preparing for this update since I am going to be installing concealment mod on all of my battleships so removing it won't be a problem for much longer. This is the standard build that I use for pretty much all my German battleships at every tier. It's Henry J. Hyde and a secondary build. Here we can see the 12 kilometer range on those secondaries. But that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Do leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Comment down below for any ships you want to see in the future. But until next time, aloha.